We look at number 31. Number 31, we have the following. Um, we want to solve this by the quadratic formula. I see my positive, it's a positive leading coefficient. Good, we always want a positive leader. And I see there's no GCF between 10, 8, and 1. So I'm not going to simplify it, get any fractions in that. Makes it a mess. I don't want to deal with that. So next, I'm going to label my AX squared plus BX plus C equals 0. It's in standard form. Good. So my A is 10. My B is positive 8. And I get right here, my C is a negative 1. Okay? So A equals 10, B equals 8, C equals negative 1. So our quadratic formula is x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We start plugging things in. I'm going to highlight them just to keep myself organized. Good. My c right here. And my b right here. Good. We get x is equal to negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 8 squared minus 4 times 10 times negative 1. Ooh, look at this, a negative and negative. We're not going to have an imaginary solution, I can tell you that. No imaginary solution, nice, nice, nice. 2 times 10. All right, now we just start simplifying. Ain't too hard from here. So we get x is equal to negative 8 plus or minus the square root, 64 plus 40. Because negative 4 times 10, negative 40. Negative 40 times 1, negative 1 is 40. And we divide it by 20. And then we can simplify a radical. What is in there? So x over minus uh, negative 8 is plus or minus square root of 104. Divided by 20. I'm going to see if I can simplify this. Take any numbers out because I always want to make sure I can do that. Because it's not simplified if I don't. We get 2 and 52, and then we get um, 2, 26, 2, 13. So I didn't pick up on it right away, but that was divisible by 4. So we make this. That's a 4. So we get right here, x equals negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 4 times 26, that's our number, and we know 4 is square readable, so we get x is equal to negative 8 plus or minus 2 square root 26 divided by 20, x is equal to GCF between those three numbers would be a 2, negative 4 plus or minus square root 26 divided by 10, negative 4, 1, 10, no more GCF, this is the most simplified answer with a common denominator of 10. Because you could technically simplify negative 4 and 10, but why do that when we have our set like that? All right, perfect.